All right, so the purpose of this um, little activity is to play around with the um, shape layers and various things that you can do with shape layers just to get some experience with it. So I'm just going to be ad-libbing here. I'm not following any particular set of um, instructions that I've made and just playing around. But the idea here is to do something interesting with your name. So I'm just going to make a new comp and I will set, I'll just call it by my name and, and we'll set it to five seconds okay so you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna create a comp and then you're gonna put your name in it now if you have a particularly long name like Anastasia or Shongololo or whatever uh, you need to shorten it uh, so your nickname or something like that, just a shortened version of your name. Um, and then I'm going to just, uh, well, I'm quite happy with the colors here. Um, and I'm just going to position this in the center. So set your fill and stroke colors and your font. Uh, try not to use a font that's going to not read so well with animation and that. So something bold and simple, a sort of slab type font. Arial Black works well or Arial Bold. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to turn this into shapes because it's text at the moment and you can't do much with it. So we're going to go to layer, create, create shapes from text. And what it's done is it's hidden the original text layer and it's made a new layer, which is a shape layer made up of the shapes of those letters. So now we have a shape layer. So you could have made a shape layer in other ways using your shape tools but I just wanted it to be shapes of letters. So now we can dig in here and start playing around. So I'm going to go to the layer and open up contents and you can see each letter is separated out. So here's what's quite cool about this is you can do certain um, things to letters individually, but you can also do things to the whole word as well. So you've got kind of two levels of control. So what I'm going to do is work with the M to begin with. So I'm going to select it and I want to go to three seconds, which is where I want the animation and everything to finish. And I'm going to open this up and I'm going to go to transform M. Just let me turn my phone off so you don't hear all those noises. Um, and I want to uh, put the stopwatch on for position, anchor, um, scale, opacity and rotation just in case I want to animate all of those I don't even know yet if I do and I'm going to then go back to two seconds and I want to change the position so that the letter is up the top like that I want to change the opacity so that it's zero and I'll also just change the rotation a little bit I'm happy with that I'm gonna to go to the fill and I want at three seconds for this color to be the, the color it is but at two seconds I want it to be another color so I'm going to choose like a magenta so it changes color as it comes in to that color so after I have set the fill settings I'm going to go to the stroke settings and I want to um, I actually want to leave this stroke the way it is, but I want an additional stroke on top of this one. So I'm going to go to the M and click on Add Stroke. And this stroke 2 is white, which is what I want. I'm going to set the width, the width up to the same size as the previous stroke, but I'm going to add a dash. So add a dash and also add a gap. So I want the gap to be quite big. I want the dash to be a little bit bigger. And then I also want to change the line cap to rounded so that they look more like dots. Now I can take the dash size down. I think I need that gap to be bigger now. Yeah, okay. So I want these sort of dots 
Okay. And I want those to actually animate around the letter. So it's kind of like light bulbs going around the letter. So I'm going to set the offset value to zero and put the stopwatch on for offset at three seconds. Go back to two seconds and set the offset value to 1000. So if I play that back now, I actually think the offset end keyframe at three seconds I'm going to take all the way to the end five seconds so it continues to animate like that so now let's see what that looks like okay all right so next <clears throat> um, I'm going to do something similar with each of the other letters just playing around um, something that'll work with uh, the M so I'm not going to make you sit through that. I'm going to fast forward through doing the other four letters and then once I've done the other three letters and once I've done those three letters, I'll come back and carry on uh, showing you what to do. Okay, so I've done all of the letters. Um, so now I can actually work on the whole word. So I'm going to select all four letters, right click, group shapes. Okay, so we've still got the animation going on, but we can now work on it as an entire unit. So what I'm going to do is add a stroke, and I'm going to uh, set that to a just a value so I can see the stroke around there um, and I think white is good and okay, let's just see. so we'll bring the stroke so at three seconds it'll look like that we'll set the stroke width uh, stopwatch and then we'll take that width down to zero at two seconds so this is what happens okay and then I'm going to add a repeater so for the whole group add a repeater and then what I want to happen is at three seconds I'm going to go into the repeater, set the uh, stopwatch on, set the copies to 1. And then at 4 seconds, I'm going to set the copies to 10. And I'm going to go into the transform repeater 1, and I'm going to set the position for X to 0, and the position for Y uh, down like that. Okay, and then I'm going to change the scale. Okay, so it looks like that. And I'll also change the rotation a little bit. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. So the letters come in and then the repeater goes down like that. Okay, so I'm not saying this is a fantastic result, but it gives you an idea of the sort of power of working with all of the properties that you can use in a shape layer. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you next time.